I don't know about you, but I live and work with a lot of people who do not respect <laughs> the joy of a window and the boat. Look at this, the crumpling, the crumpling, the ripping, the, what is this? Watermarks, where has this been? No care whatsoever. But I have found a way to make good use of these unloved, uncared for window envelopes. So these are some sweet specimen slides I made using the window envelopes. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm going to give you a printable. So you can make these frames and do your own. So here's the printable. Some are a little bigger and some are a little smaller because if you look at these envelopes, they the plastic part comes in different sizes. Like this one's smaller than this one. So, and as long as as long as this hole, this is the hole you cut out, as long as this is smaller than this, you can use it. You know, it doesn't have to be precise. You just want to make sure you have enough plastic in, in to cover this. So, and then what I did was I printed this. I put this in my copier. I printed it out. And I'll give you a PDF. I'll show you how to get a PDF, a free PDF to do this. I printed it out on to craft paper. That's how I got the look I did. And then I cut them out. So for my centerpiece, I used real pressed flowers. And the way I did that is I go out in my garden and, or walk along the road whatever, and I, I pick flowers, um, not, not ones with dew on them, you know, um, you want something that's relatively dry, and then I put them on a paper towel and fold it in half so it's got a paper towel on both sides, and I put it inside a heavy book, and that is wonderful free junk journaling supply right there. So if you live anywhere where there are flowers or leaves, anything you can press that would be fun to use, go grab some. Go grab some. It's super easy to do. So anyway, if you don't have pressed flowers, you could also use stickers inside or magazine cutouts you know something you fussy cut out of a magazine or even stamps that you color in so I happen to have kind of a wacky big um, plastic part here and I also happen to have a frame that kind of works with that so I'm going to show you how I do what I do. This isn't even cardstock. This is just paper, but I, th I think it'll still work. And I just take a, a little bit of glue, tiny bit, and right along the inside, I'm not trying to cover the whole thing, right along the inside frame, I go around and then I find a piece of the plastic that isn't all rumpled up and I just put that on top of it. And then I'm gonna cut it out. Now because I didn't glue all the way to the edge, see there's, there's a little flap of unglued part that makes it really easy to just slip my scissors up in there and cut.
and get rid of that background without without messing up the frame. So there I have a nice frame. Again, this is just paper, not probably not ideal, but it works. So here's a flower and a leaf, a pressed flower and a leaf, and I put it on a piece of just an old piece of paper. <laughs> it's got ick and everything, but that's okay. And the way I put it on, I just put a little bit of double-sided tape down. I have learned that some glues, if I if I glue very carefully a pressed flower down, it can suck the color out. So I'm trying to use a little bit, just a little bit of double-sided tape, boom, right in the middle. Just a tad, just to hold it in place. And it doesn't matter if the, if the edges crumple up because they're going to be under the plastic. So then I just plop it on there in any old way because then when I come in with my frame, I can... I can kind of adjust, you know, where it looks good, which is probably right about there. That's how I like it. And so then I'm just going to do my glue again, a little bit around. I need more glue. There we come. Sorry. And what did I do? I did, I think I liked, kind of like, what? Like that. Yeah, and so you can just decide how you like, because you're going to cut the rest away. So here it is. This is the frame and the envelope plastic over a real flower and leaf and it's on top of just a little piece of paper and the frame is also paper so probably what i'll do is i'll mount it on a piece of cardstock just to firm it up a little bit and then after I do that, I will decorate it in some little way. Here I did a stamp and a little label. This is a label from my, um, my specimen card printable. This one I inked around the edges and kind of old fashioned it. Now this one was not inked. I was kind of a little more modern look. So yeah, you can go either way with that. But anyway, it's fun to decorate and uh, I hope you give it a try and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.